Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was interviewed, I was asked to be part of an interview for an online show. It's hosted by Melissa Andre. Melissa is a successful entrepreneur and she's been a longtime friend of mine so it was a pleasure a pleasure and an honor to be part of her show and uh, the topic for today uh, was self-care during quarantine and I share all things related to self-care and how self-care is important for your mental health and also how makeup could be a great tool for self-care a great tool to help you improve your mental health if you do like makeup you know not i clarify in the interview you don't have to like makeup you don't have to try makeup but i just share a little bit about my makeup experience as well and how that's that could be combined with mental health so yeah, um, I wanted to share the interview with you on the next clip. So if you're interested in um, watching the interview, if you think it's uh, if you think these topics are interesting to you, um, please keep watching. That's very cool, very cool. And then I was telling people that you are a makeup artist and a therapist as well. That's right. So something that I've been speaking to people about is Taking like taking some kind of self care is really really good for your mental health, and I was saying that you are the perfect person to have on because you really do marry the two. Where doing makeup, doing things like that, really is a form of self care, but it can help with your mental health as well. Do you want to kind of elaborate a little bit on that and how doing self care can help with mental health? Yes, uh, self care is actually the number one thing right because mm -hmm. if you don't take care of yourself you can't take care of others and part of um, mental health is to be mindful of ways that you can improve it like for instance uh, doing things that make you happy doing things that keep you in a positive mindset um and doing things that uh, resting you know like i think we live in a um i think our country uh, is really amazing in terms of productivity and people being independent and making their own life. Um, but sometimes that can interfere with, sometimes we get too busy. So I think it's really important to also take care of you. And I was actually talking about that in my channel that sometimes uh, our body tells us when things are not okay, right? Like if we have anxiety, if we have certain feelings that are coming up and if we ignore them and don't take, don't take care of them as part of self-care, uh, it can become bigger and interfere with our daily lives. It definitely can. And I do want to kind of bring that up as well. So, so you just launched your, let's see if it pops up. So you just launched your, uh, oh. your YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. So let's see if we can play this. Please. So with this... So with this, you can actually check out Katie's channel right here, and she's going to give you the, what is it, seven ways? Yes. Why don't, you, why don't you describe it, Katie? Seven ways to improve your mental health during COVID-19. Um, I think there, you know, the quarantine and the issues that are going on right now can impact our mental health and create greater challenges, especially if you're at home and you don't have outlets that you did like outside of home like if you were part of groups if you were part of hobbies you know so i wanted to give people some tips on how to improve their mental health during the quarantine and not allow this to interfere with um living a healthy lifestyle it, it, it definitely is and it's something that is really needed at this time and i will drop the link in the comments below after the show to go straight to your, <laughs> to go oh, straight to your you. YouTube page. Thanks. So, no problem. So what are some ways that people can do some self-care with makeup? Because I know that you're a makeup artist and you, I, I've seen a lot of the work that you've done. So what yeah. are some, so tell us about makeup and how that is self-care. Because I know nothing about makeup. <laughs> um, 
you know, I think a lot of people, it's, it's really up to people. You don't have to wear makeup. I know some people like yourself might want to wear makeup for interviews, but not on a daily basis. Um, so as far as, um, it's really up to you if you like it or not, or if you want to try it, but makeup to me, makeup is a type of art and it's very therapeutic you know i think you can play with colors you can have fun with it you don't have to be perfect at it you don't have to buy the most expensive makeup i think that there's a lot of fads on uh the maybe the kim k look and all these things like those looks are amazing but they're not everyday looks and i'm actually going to be uploading an everyday look to wear on quarantine because um so going back to self-care it's just a way of like um, you know, sometimes if you are depressed, if you are going through something, you might not want to do things that you enjoyed before. Like if you enjoy doing your makeup, you might not want to do it. But I think even if you are feeling down, it's okay to do it. Just the mm -hmm. act of doing it will like, it just helps you be mindful, right? The way you're applying it, it just helps you kind of be in a present moment. And to me, it just brings a lot of joy to see what you can create with makeup. And I think that, I think that's so true, people who do enjoy makeup. I know I was speaking with someone personally and they're like, oh, I don't see why people are doing makeup because they're not going anywhere. And sometimes <laughs> doing your own makeup for people who enjoy doing makeup can just be, be a sense of normalcy as well. If you're used to waking up every day and, and doing your makeup for work, it can actually help you because it's something that you can control. I know a lot of us are feeling stress and anxiety because we, we don't have that sense of control in our life anymore. Yes, uh, I agree with you. It definitely can bring, if that was part of your routine, it can bring a sense of normalcy, especially for your Zoom meetings too, if you wanna look put together for those meetings. I mean, I don't always wear makeup for the Zoom meetings, but you know, it could bring a sense of normalcy, like, hey, I'm getting dressed up for work or, mm -hmm. Or I'm just doing this for fun. Like I'm just home, and I just want to play with what I have. And mm -hmm. um, and I my the also the purpose of showing uh, makeup tutorials on my channel is for people who want to learn, and for people who are like I've never worn makeup, but I want to learn how to do it. I just never did it because I never knew how. So I want to teach people how, and I also want it to be sort of like even just looking at a tutorial of someone doing their makeup can be therapeutic and relaxing. It can. And then so, let's see. So Joanna says, well, this is perfect timing. We're all in quarantine to experience, uh, to experience, experience <laughs> with makeup and trying new things. That's it, awesome. it, definitely, it definitely is the time. And thank you so much, Katie, for joining me today. And if people wanted to reach out to you, what is the name of your YouTube page so they can go? And I'll drop it in the comments after. Yes, they could just search my name, Katie Pura, P-I-U-R-A, and it'll show there. Um, um, well, Katie Pura, L-M-S-W, and yeah, it will show, it will just show there. And they could also follow me on Instagram, Introspective Pura. Perfect, perfect. Again, Katie, thank you so much. Thank Thanks you so for much. having me, Mel. Oh, no problem. And guys, catch us next week, because next week we're going to do a lot of demonstrations of things about self-care. All right, everyone, have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Thank you again, Katie. Thank you, Mel. Bye. So that was the interview. This is the second video on my Mental Health Wednesday series. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Remember, mental health is just as important as physical health. Listen to your mind and body and know the signs when you are in need of support.